From robots to artificial intelligence, Amazon says it's revolutionizing the way consumers get their orders. It comes as e-commerce sales are predicted to grow at least 10 percent this holiday season, reaching $278 billion, according to Deloitte. Amazon alone estimated to deliver 13 and a half million parcels each day. And it's all about innovation. I'm inside Boss 27. This is a state of the art facility just outside of Boston. And with me now is Amazon's chief technologist for robotics, Ty Brady. Ty, thanks for being here. My pleasure. So this is the first time the public will see some of the new technology you are rolling out for the holidays. What happens in a lab like this? We are reimagining the future of robotics so that you can do your holiday shopping even better. Today, Amazon launches Sequoia, its brand new robotic system in Houston. The company says it's capable of stocking merchandise 75% more quickly and delivering your orders 25% faster. What was the problem you were trying to solve with Sequoia? We want to offer a wider selection for our customers. We want to do that in a very efficient manner so they can pass on a low cost to our customers. Brady says Sequoia also makes it safer for employees, reducing the number of accidents and repetitive stress injuries. So you don't have to get on a ladder, you don't have to bend down on your knees, you don't have to reach up uh, really high. They're able to bring these totes from the warehouse to okay, a workstation so like this, where I met up with David so Guerin, who helped design and build Sequoia. A machine has gotten this item out of the warehouse, brought it over here, and now what happens? Now the associate finds the item uh, that's up on the screen, so we take it out. This is a yellow phone we, case. We scan it. Okay. We put it in uh, a tote to be sent to another part of the building for packaging. We let the system know it's 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 in there, and then this will cycle through and deliver us another tote to pick something else out of. And just how do those towers move around? Meet Hercules. Today is graduation day. The finished robots form a line and drive themselves onto their own shipping pallets, where they'll head off to work at fulfillment centers around the world. Amazon is also introducing Digit. This new bipedal robot can grab and move orders in warehouse spaces not designed for humans. So I think something a lot of people are curious about is what happens between the time they click buy now and the product arrives at their doorstep. You're going to walk me through that. Sounds good. Okay, so I'm going to buy what is a bestseller on Amazon right All now. All right, very good. The Instant Pot. It's going to be hot this holiday too. Be hot, right on your phone, ready to go. Okay, I'm going to add it to my cart. By the time you did that, yeah. I've sourced every Instant Pot in inside our network to figure out what's the best way to, to bring that to your house. The system found my Instant Pot at a fulfillment center in Penns Grove, New Jersey. From there, it was driven to Carteret, New Jersey, where it was boxed, labeled, and loaded onto another truck, headed for a distribution center in the Bronx. That's where the delivery van picked it up and dropped it off the next day at 6.48 p.m. to me. Welcome to my office. The company also has more than 10,000 Rivian electric vans across the U.S. to reduce its environmental impact. Branson Ramirez drives one. I can do about 150 stops, uh, maybe 250 to 300 packages. New technology evolving to get us what we want faster and more sustainably this holiday season. And here's the thing, Amazon is not alone in gearing up for the holidays. Retailers across the board are also getting ready. Walmart opened three new fulfillment centers, 36 drone delivery hubs, and Target is adding 100,000 workers just for this holiday shopping season. I mean, it's all look, it all looks mm -hmm. cool, especially yeah. the robots. Yeah. But you don't have to wonder about the folks who used to actually have those jobs, like the, the people. Right, and that is a question I asked when we were there, and Amazon insists their data proves otherwise, that they are adding jobs as they are adding robotics. They, in fact, say that they've added hundreds of thousands of new jobs hmm. and 700 job categories. But, yes, you're right. The person who might be lifting those shelves right. or lifting those totes is a different person. They may now need to brush up on engineering skills or different kinds of critical thinking. But the idea is really interesting because they want to remove anything that's mundane and allow humans to use higher level critical thinking skills, things that make us more human. So that's the goal with these robots. All okay. right. All right. Thank, Thank you, Vicki. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.